Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com and I just wanted to do a quick video because Adobe, as most of you people that use Lightroom know, Adobe released an update to Lightroom 5.0 yesterday and they released 5.2. For some reason they skipped right over 5.1, I'm not really sure why. But anyways, there's a um, couple significant um, updates or upgrades to the program I wanted to talk about. They did the typical stuff. I mean, they did some bug uh, repairs. Uh, they added some lens profiles and some camera um, support to it. And if you're, I'm not going to go over those. If you're interested in that, go to the uh, Lightroom site at Adobe and there's a big list of what they did of, of that. But I wanted to talk about is they added some um, functionality to some of the panels over here. The first one's in the detail panel. Um, they added a slider called smoothness. It's in the noise reduction section of the detail panel. And what it, it, it's really a, a neat thing. Uh, a shot like this, as you can see in the information up here, I shot it at ISO 1000. And this, actually, the sun had just risen when I took this shot, and it was very, very dark. And I had to boost the exposure in Lightroom to even get this uh, so you could see it. And typically, when you do something like that, the dark areas, like back here, you could see how it's all got this little color tinge to it. It's kind of like a, I don't know, cyan, a magenta in there. And, um, I'm going to zoom in and you can see even better these, these, this, this color, big color tinge. Now in the noise reduction panel, typically you would take this um, color slider. It's already at 25 on any shot right when you load it in. Uh, it adds, Lightroom automatically adds a little sharpening and a little um, noise reduction. But if you, you'd boost that up and if you watch what happens, hopefully you can see it on the video, it just made the tiniest, smallest grain and noise kind of smooth out, but these big color blotches are still here. That's where the smoothness slider comes in. You just kick that up and hopefully you could see it. See, it just got rid of it all. And um, if I zoom back out, you could see that um, those color um, like halos and tinges are completely gone and the uh, detail on the deer are still really good. They're still um, sharp. It didn't uh, soften the shot at all and um, it didn't really change the color of the deer. So that's a really nice uh, feature that's been added to Lightroom 5.2. Um, the other thing they've done is they have did um, to the spot removal tool, go over to this shot. You remember this shot from, um, from the uh, split toning video I did on um, Lightroom. And what they added here was this feather um, slider right here. And if you could see um, the uh, tool now, the brush, you see there's two circles now. The inner circle is 100%. Uh, there's no feathering. But as you move out from that middle circle t to the outside circle, that's where the feathering is going to occur. And, um, oops, um, hit the wrong key. Um, I'm going to turn it down for a minute. And in the past, a lot of times if you were going to do, I'm going to just do a crazy adjustment right now. Um, let's say you clicked here and you wanted to get rid of this. And you hit enter to get rid of it. And I'm going to close the tool so you could see. You see how it's got this halo around it, this circle? I mean, you could obviously see I cloned it. Um, what you do is you go back to the tool, and I'm going to select this one, and you feather it. When you feather it, it helps heat, like um, blend it in better. See, it helped blend it in. You don't see the the circle anymore, the you know hard edge of the circle. Now, obviously, I would never do a spot healing like I did here. I just was doing that for the demonstration. But um, that's a nice feature. So if you ever um, are doing you know sensor spots or anything, and you could still see the little circle of where you um, did the spot healing, um, just tweak the feather up a little bit and it should blend it in a lot better. So that's a nice feature. Um, the other thing they did is to um, the uh, graduated filter, the radi radial filter, and the um, adjustment brush. They added um, um, like right click function functionality. And I'll show you on the um, adjustment brush. If you rem remember in the split toning I painted in some of this um, warmth in the shot. And if you, um, now, if you right click on that, 
you could uh, duplicate it, delete it, or you could reset it. If you reset it, you're, you're basically going to delete every adjustment you did, every brush adjustment you did to it. Or you could, so you could just duplicate it. And what it does, it, it basically makes it twice as strong. And then you duplicate it again, it makes it four times as strong, and so on and so on. So that's just it. That's just some right-click functionality added to these things. So you could duplicate it and delete it. So I'm going to delete the one I just did. And now it's back to the just the single one. So that's it. That's the three things that I think are kind of major um, changes um, that they added to Lightroom in 5.2. And um, I just wanted to show you real quick and give you an idea how they work. Um, that's it. Um, I hope you guys enjoy Lightroom. I hope you guys enjoy the Lightroom training I have on YouTube and on my website. And if you guys ever have any questions, feel free me to shoot me an email at tony at anthonymorganti.com and I'll try to answer your question best I can. Take care.